I watch it fall down to the ground, cut off the things that weighed me down. There's nothing left I'm trying to hide. Living life now feeling free inside. Feeling free. Welcome back to Julie M Studios and I'm Julie and today I'm going to show you how to create a digital vision board uh, on the iPad. It's a rather simple process and it can be kind of fun so let's um, dive right in. In my digital planner on the digital one there is a vision board built into the planner for you to do um, yours there. I did this for a multitude of reasons, but mainly I wanted to be reminded on a weekly or daily basis of what I'm putting out there into the universe, of my big dreams and goals and desires, and it's just, I can constantly, easily, quickly look back at it and know where I'm headed. And when I have to make a decision about something, it helps me in the decision tree process of yes, I'm going to go down this path because it's going to support where I'm going, or no, I'm not going to, I'm going to have to say no to that one. Uh, it's not because I don't want to, it's because it doesn't support what I said was my direction. And then two, if I want to change things around or add anything to it, I can easily do that as well, um, simply by either duplicating the page or making the change on that actual vision board. So this is where we're going to end up today is with something like this, and I'm going to show you the process of doing that. I'm going to show you how to photograph something and put it in your um, vision board. Uh, if you remember back in the past, you would just clip things out of magazines, out of books, um, and you know you would just cut this cover out if that's what you wanted on there. And those sorts of things were easily um, Done. Well, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to be using Google. Um, we're not selling anything. This is strictly for our own use. Um, and we're just going to photograph things we have um, that we want to capture in our um, vision board as well. So let's get started. You can either work along with me um, or just follow uh, my steps after the fact. So the first thing I want to do is put my central dream in there. And I've already gone to Google and um, downloaded the picture, but I'll show you how to do that. So here's an image. Um, and I've brought it up on Google or Safari. And I'm just going to hold my finger down on it on the iPad, and I'm going to hit Save Image. Once I do that, it's in my photos, and we can easily access it from Noteshelf, which is what I'm using. I use Noteshelf. Similar process in other... Um, PDF reader apps, but I just like the uh, integrate or the way that Noteshelf flows and integrates real well with how I work. Um, so I'm going to go to the plus sign. I'm going to go to photo library, and I'm going to find the first image, which for me is I want my central goal. My central goal, and every decision I make is centered around it. Is we want to live at the beach someday. We want to open up our doors and see the ocean, smell the ocean, hear the ocean. All five sen senses um, engaged in, in that sort of lifestyle. And so that's the first image I'm going to bring in because I want everything else to rotate around it. So I'll check that image and I'll hit done. I'm going to make this one rather big. Um, I'm actually think I'm going to clip, um, edit, edit the size of it a little bit. So you can hit edit on there. Let's bring that down a little bit. Then I can make it larger again. There we go. So, and then I may make a note on that. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to come back to the end and make my notes because I may overlap some stuff here. Okay, so then the next thing I want um, to show you is that you can split screen uh, note shelf with your browser. And to do that, you just drag that out, and then you can do that. I just rather flip back and forth between the apps because I like my apps being large. That's why I got a 12.9 inch iPad. Um, but some people like to split screen it and that's totally fine. It's up to you. 
So the next thing I want to do is pull in another image. Um, and we want to start really digging in and saving so we can retire sooner. And so I want to do that one. I thought that image rep uh, represented what I'm trying to do there. Um, <clears throat> another image is, okay, so I took a photograph of my book. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm going to edit the size of this. I like the way that she wrote that. So I'm going to use that in my vision board. Okay. So let me show you how I did that. So if you're going to, if you're looking through a magazine or uh, a book or something and you want to capture something for your vision board, this is all you're going to do. You open your camera app on your device and you're going to come in here and you're going to take a photo of it. And now it's in your photo library. We'll do the same thing with this one. Okay. So now those are in my photo library, so I can close the photo app and go back to Noteshell. And we can go here, photo library, and all photos, and go right there. Done. And we want to edit that because I want to rotate it and I want to crop it. And I like what this said one piece at a time because it's just a simple reminder of, um, you know, just do one thing at a time. It'll all get there, but just slowly work away at it, and I'm going to send that to the back, but I want to make sure, there we go, one piece at a time. Okay, so then the next thing I want to put on here is where I want to be taken this year. So I have a couple spots that we want a vacation this year. We want to go back to Cancun with the whole family. So I'm going to put that on there. And then we also want to go to Aruba. We did not get to go with my mom this year, and she passed away. So we want to um, make sure we go and can spread her ashes there. And then the other thing, was there anything else in my photo? Oh, good health and well-being and running. So you can import multiple images at one time if you've already loaded your images in your photo library. So one thing I want to do is get back and start running again. So I'm going to put that in there. And then I also want to get healthier as well as with the family. So we'll put that in there. Then we're going to write a couple things. So I just didn't find images that worked real well with what I wanted. So first of all, I'm going to write, because I already have white, vacation, in Cancun with the family. Um, this I'm going to put with at the ocean. I like just putting some doodles on mine um, here. Okay. Then the other things that I just could not find what I was looking for that I really want to make happen this year is I want um, to help 
hundred with meeting their goals. Taking action. But the big thing I really want to do is I really want to be a successful and sought after artist and illustrator. Oops. Okay, so if I wanted to resize that, I can come around here like so. I hit resize. Okay, we're going to redo that. If I hit any of the pictures, it's going to grab those two, which is fine. I can, you know. Okay, so I'm going to put this back down here. Okay, so that kind of covers it. That's um, how you do a vision board and um, in your digital planner. If you have any questions, as always, you can just easily email me at hello at juliamstudios.com or leave a comment and I will respond. And uh, happy planning and look forward to seeing you at the next video cast.